Welcome everyone, in this video we'll be showing you how to use the NVIDIA RTX HDR for your HDR monitors. So what you need for this is a Windows operating system, an NVIDIA RTX graphics card, an HDR compatible uh, display or monitor, and also the NVIDIA app. What we'll be using in this video specifically is the, uh, for the monitor itself, we'll be using the 49 inch Odyssey OLED G9 gaming monitor, the G9D3SC model. For the graphics card, we'll be using the uh, MSI's GE Force RTX 4090 Supreme Liquid Cool 24G graphics card. And for the operating system, we'll be using Windows 11 Pro. And of course, we'll be using the new NVIDIA app to set all this up. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up our monitor. And to set up this specific monitor, in the back there is a button. I'm going to press that so we can access the menu for the monitor. Then I'm going to go up and click on menu. And under this function, we have our menus to the left. And then we have the actual options within the menus to the right. So under the game menu, I want, you want to make sure that the adaptive sync is on. The other options, you can choose to use them or not, but adaptive sync I would recommend to keep on. Now we're going to go to picture, so I'm going to scroll down, go to the right. And then under the picture menu, uh, I would, these are the options I'm using. Again, you can use them if you choose to, but what I would, but you need to make sure that HDR tone mapping is turned to active. So this is what you click on that, it can be active or static, so you can see the difference. So I would recommend leaving it on active. I'll scroll down for you guys to see the other options, in case you're interested. Okay, and then finally, we want to visit the system menu. So I'm going to scroll down to system. And under system, we want to do several things. First, we want to go to the PC AV mode, so I'm going to scroll down to that, select that. And in this case, we're using the DisplayPort. So we want to make sure that we want to have the DisplayPort optimized for a PC because that's what's plugged into it. So if you were to scroll down to the DisplayPort, enter it, make sure PC is selected. Okay. So that's why I'm going to go to the left now. I'm going to go down. The second thing in this menu is we want to make sure the DisplayPort version, whatever input you're using, you're using the highest version possible that your system can handle. In this case, I'm using a display port and my system can handle the 1.4 version of that display port. So that's, a, that's what I'm using. All right. And finally, the last thing is uh, we want to make sure that VRR control is on. And that essentially is sync GPU provides optimal gaming conditions. All right. So those are, this is how we set up our monitor. Now we're going to take a look at how we set up windows for the RTX HDR. All right, so now we're gonna set up Windows, and to do that, we're gonna need to do several things. But first, uh, you would need to right-click on the display, on the desktop, and then select Display Settings. And then once you're in Display Settings, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that the resolution looks uh, good. And so in this case, with this monitor, uh, I wanna maximize the resolution while still fitting everything on the screen. So in this case, I'll use the recommended highest resolution, 5120 by 1440. And the second thing is we want to make sure that uh, the scale is appropriate. I chose 125 because uh, then I could easily see the icons and the text. If I were to go at 100, to me that's too small. And the text in the applications looks really small and the icons look small. And 100 and 200, for example, is too large for me. And text is too big and I'm losing a lot of a lot of uh, real estate like that. So I just, for me, my optimal setting is 125, but you can choose to change the scale to anything that is good for you. And then also the next thing we gotta do now is make sure the refresh rate is set to 240. And to do that, I'm gonna go to advanced display. And under advanced display here, you see the choose a refresh rate. And under here, we have multiple options. This display, with the graphics card that we have available can go up to 240 hertz. And so I'm gonna select the highest refresh rate possible. That might be different for, for your setup, but for my setup, I'll select the highest, which is 240 hertz. Okay, and now we can go back to display. 
And the next thing we're gonna focus on is use HDR. We wanna make sure use HDR is turned on. Okay, so next, after you turn it on, I'm gonna click on this menu and it's gonna take me to the HDR. And within the HDR, we wanna make sure that, again, use HDR is turned on. However, auto HDR, this is important, needs to be turned off, okay? We can't be using both Windows HDR and the graphics card HDR. And this is, for me, I have the HDR video streaming on. You can turn that off if you like, but I do have it on if you're interested. And finally, in the HDR menu, the last thing we want to do here is the SDR content bright brightness. We want to make sure that this is set to the right value. If it's too high, it'll be too saturated. If it's too low, it'll be too dark. So let me demonstrate. I have a setting of eight, and to me, everything looks good. Now I'm going to scroll this and I want you to focus on the clouds here. You see how they get saturated as I uh, go higher. You don't want to oversaturate. And also the, uh, the, the text can become difficult to read as well if we do that. So, well, and you don't want it to be too low because then it's too dark. So you want to find the optimal setting for you. For me, it's eight, where it's just bright, uh, bright enough, but not losing any of that color content for the SDR. And this is SDR content, it upscales it. Uh, to make it look brighter. If we go back to display, the last thing we need to do is we need to calibrate our monitor using Windows Calibrate. And to do that, we're gonna go to the profile, color profile, click on that. And under color profile, uh, do color calibration. So we're gonna click calibrate display. And when you do that, a window pops up that takes you to the Microsoft Store to download an app. And this app specifically is a Windows HDR calibration. So if you don't have it already installed, do download and install it, and then open it. Then once you open it, you just go through it. Uh, you know, uh, essentially this app, this window needs to be inside the monitor you're trying to calibrate. Essentially we're telling Windows what the capabilities of our monitor are. What are the brightest settings it can handle, and what are the darkest settings it can handle. So to go through it real quickly, I've already done it, but I'll take you through it. We'll click get started, and you can see this pattern here. And what we want to do is we want to slide this down here, this bar, uh, so that the pattern disappears, just until it disappears. So if I go lower, it becomes darker, and I'm going to go down to a certain point where it gets quite dark, and then I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to scroll down further until it completely disappears. In this case, it's at zero. Okay, so now I'm going to click next. Same thing here. We're going to slide this until the pattern disappears. So I'm going to go up. There we go. So now I'm gonna use the, the arrows on my keyboard. And there it is, now it disappears. So it disappeared of setting about 400. Now I'm gonna click next. Same thing here. Let's slide this bar until it disappears. I'm gonna keep going. It's close enough. Now I'm gonna use the arrows on the keyboard. And it disappeared again about 400. Now I'm gonna click next. And this here is the color saturation. In this case, when I try to slide this bar, I don't really see much of a difference. And so because I don't see much of a difference, I'm just gonna leave it at zero. Then I'm gonna click next. And you can see now an example of before calibration. This is what the uh, picture looked like. You see how saturated it is here. After calibration though, you can see that you can actually see the sun. It's not really saturated and the clouds are distinguishable. And so this is good. And now we want to save this uh, color settings. And so we give it a profile name. Typically I give the display name and the date. So I would write RSC G93 SC and today's date, for example. And then what you do after that is you click finish. Okay, but I'm not gonna click finish. I'm gonna close it out and I'll, sh and I'll show you where that should show up because I already did it earlier. All right, so let me close everything. And now what, now that we've done the calibration, we can go back to display and we have, this is where the profile will appear. So this is the profile we created today. Uh, I created earlier today. And this is the one that you just created, for example, and yours will also appear here. Okay guys, so this is how we set up Windows. Now we're gonna move forward and look at how we set up the uh, graphics card within the NVIDIA app. All right, so now that we have Windows set up, we can move on to setting up the graphics card. So to set up the graphics card, the first thing is you need to open the NVIDIA app. 
which you need to download if you don't ha haven't done so already. And in the NVIDIA app, uh, we need to go to drivers and you want to make sure that you have the drivers updated. And you have two types of drivers if you're not familiar with this. If you click on this drop down menu, you can choose either the game ready drivers, which are optimized for gaming, or the studio drivers, which are optimized for uh, editing photos, videos, and so on. So I would uh, select the game ready drivers and you want to make sure you have the latest driver. If not, install it. Right, and after that, we're going to go to graphics. And under graphics, uh, we're going to go to global settings. And under global settings, we want to make sure that we have two things active. We want to make sure that RTX dynamic vibrance is turned on. So here you can, you can either turn it off or on, make sure it's turned to on. And we want to make sure that RTX HDR is also turned on. So click on that, make sure it's turned on. All right, and this is just some information on what these are. The uh, uh, dynamic vibrance, uh, essentially, it boosts visual clarity for your gaming using AI. So uh, it's using uh, artificial intelligence to do that. And some more information here if you want to read it. And this is the one we're really trying to focus on, RTX HDR, right? So this is gives you some more information on how the uh, RTX HDR works. Okay. And so once we do that, then we want to go to system. And under system, we want to do several things. Under the displays tab here, we see we want to confirm that the resolution and the, free, the refresh rate are good. And you can also change it from this uh, platform. You don't have to use Windows to change the uh, refresh rate. Okay, so that looks good. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to video. So this is for streaming video, essentially. Uh, while here at the graphics, we're looking at the global settings for uh, for the uh, you know gaming games and so on. Here we're looking at streaming video, and under video we have two options. Uh, we want to make sure that video super resolution is turned on. You see the difference later, but this is fantastic. When you turn that on, blurry images become clear in your uh, videos, which is really good. It's, it's easy to see uh, the difference. Under the high dynamic range, again, same thing. You want to make sure that this is turned on. Uh, and this essentially in your videos, let's say YouTube videos, that's going to make your videos look brighter and uh, a lot easier to see uh, content in them. One, the last thing I would recommend is go back to the graphics menu. And now once you do that, let's optimize our different applications. In this case, uh, VLC and OBS Studios since they have a check mark, have been optimized by the program itself. However, uh, here World of Warcraft, if you go to that, it has not been optimized. So as you can see the minus. So what I'm going to do is this is the current values and the program is recommending that we change it to these values. What I would recommend is just optimize it, click on that. And once you do that, essentially it takes those values and puts them in the current values. And now your program is optimized. And if it looks good, for, this is a good starting point for you to then go back and see if you need to change anything. All right, now that we have our uh, graphics card set up, let's try to play a game. And before you start to play a game, you need to do several things. The first thing we're going to do is you need to open up your control panel for NVIDIA. Let's search NVIDIA control panel. There it is. So let's open that up. In the NVIDIA control panel, you want to go to adjust display color settings right here. And under here, you want to make sure that override to reference mode is checked. If this is not checked, you won't be able to adjust your filters in the application. Uh, and you'll see which filters I'm talking about in a minute. So make sure you, act, you check this box. And there's one more thing we need to do inside the NVIDIA app where you need to go to graphics and under program settings, go to the um, program that you want to optimize and you want to make sure you're going to scroll all the way down under driver settings you want to make sure that uh, the RTX dynamic vibrance is set to global use global say apply and then same thing for the RTX HDR you want to make sure that that global is selected use global okay uh, all right and now let's start the program and see what it looks like. All right. So once the game launches, what you want to do is you want to, on your keyboard, press Alt and Z together. 
and this menu will pop up on the left here and you want to go to game filters and under game filters you see that you want to make sure you select one of them and you have two filters XD RTX HDR and RTX Dynamic Vibrance for this I'm going to remove RTX Dynamic Vibrance by selecting it and putting it to the trash I'm also going to remove the RTX HDR to show you that what's going to happen see it becomes darker and let's say you go to this profile and you want to add RTX HDR so go down here click on the RTX HDR and now that filter is added and if you click on this arrow down arrow it will give you options you can this is the options that I have chosen for uh, my uh, optimal settings but you can move these up and down so if I change the middle grades and I drop them from 73 down to 0 it becomes darker I think that's too dark but 73 and if it's too far I feel like it's too saturated it's hard to see the details so I think around 73 for me it looks nice and uh, clean I can see all the details and still be bright enough for contrast see, uh, if you drop that I, right now I have it set to 7 if I drop it it becomes brighter if I increase it, it becomes darker however I feel like for me uh, 7 7 seems to be pretty good so I'm going to select 7 and then saturation if you increase that it becomes too orange if it's too low it becomes too blue so I'm just going to put it I'm going to make it a bit softer and maybe leave it at around 57 like this okay so now we have our RTX HDR filter preset so just to demonstrate again if we have it off you can click none to turn everything off or you can click it again to turn it back on you see there's a big difference all right, so now you can also have a bunch of other filters here that NVIDIA provides. If you're interested, do try them up and see if you like anything. However, since this video is for RTX HDR, we'll focus on this. All right, guys, and just to give you some troubleshooting pointers, if uh, sometimes the uh, filters don't work or uh, you run into issues, uh, I would recommend uh, first closing the uh, NVIDIA app as well as the NVIDIA control panel and restarting them again that helps uh, and then another thing if that doesn't help you can restart your computer and the reason I had to do that is because I, had to, I changed the options way too many times from R R uh, HDR to RTX HDR back and forth and I think that confused the system a little bit but a restart of the computer or again turning off those two apps that I just mentioned uh, has helped me and with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time.